Girls, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're new to our channel, click that red subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos. And now let me tell you guys, I'm so excited. For those of you who have been a Ride Play Pal for a while, you know it has been over a year since I actually uploaded a recorded video where I unboxed something. You guys have been so supportive. I appreciate it so much. You guys have been checking me out on TikTok and Instagram and things like that. And also just watching my old videos and say, hey, Ride, where are you? We miss you. We love your videos and stuff like that. And I appreciate it so much. Super shout out to all of you guys because I appreciate you. Let me just tell you. But I'm back, baby. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And I thought I would, you know, unbox an OMG since coming back. You guys know I'm really high on the Rainbow High dolls now and I have collected so many of them. Um, but I still love my OMGs and I have a ton of them as well. A bunch that I haven't unboxed. But today I wanted to unbox Miss Celebrate. Um, I know she came out recently. I was actually at a Target. I saw her. I thought she looked cute, cute, cute. Love her hair and everything. So I thought I would unbox her. And you guys know in Rye Play style, I will unbox her and I'll probably give her some different looks to check her out and see, you know, what kinds of styles we can create to make her look a little differently. You know, I don't like to do it like the regular way. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen a million unboxings. Who wants to see just another one doing the same thing? So let's check out the packaging. I think it's really cute. I love the artwork right here. Oh, she is cute. Um, hopefully there's some glasses inside, so we'll have to check that out. I haven't seen anyone unbox her, so I have no idea what I'm going to get. So cute. It says to and from, so you could uh, put that there. That would be a nice little gift for a friend if you were going to a birthday party or something like that. Um, I'd take it. I know I'm an adult, but I play with dolls, and that's okay. I'm a doll collector. That's what we do. It says right here, Miss Celebrate doesn't just throw the party. She is the party. Wherever she struts, good times are sure to follow. So make sure you are SVBB. All right, BB. Because if you don't, you might not be able to come to the party. You might show up and can't get in, right? But this looks so cute. I mean, her, oh, her whole getup. I just can't wait to see. Let's go ahead and unbox her really quickly and then we will check it out and see what we got inside, okay? Okay guys, so I have Miss Celebrate out of the box and let me tell you, um, this unboxing, it's been such a while since I've done one of these. It was a little bit of a challenge, but not too, too bad as far as um, OMGs go. And I, this was really cute, what she came with. All of her little packages were on the side. It was cute, but of course, couldn't be saved. It would have been nice to uh, be able to save that for those who like to collect them. I'm not gonna lie. Typically, I have started throwing mine away, even the nice ones, because it's just too much paper, too much clutter. But I wanted to show you guys some of the things that were inside. So of course, we have the OMG hanger. She had her garment bag. I try not to rip these up because I do use them for displays and other stuff when I'm styling my doll, so that's cute. Uh, two of these pieces for the doll stand. One is wider and this one is a little thinner, uh, depending on where you want the doll to stand, I guess, or what kind of outfit they have on. I love this because sometimes when they have something on really bulky, it makes it hard to adjust. I have the wider one on her right now. I was actually quite surprised that this little, like, it's not really even a skirt. What would you call it? Like a, it's not a cape. I forget what you call it. Um, it's like a little train, I guess, for her um, outfit. It's cute. Nice little details with the Velcro. The chain is a maze. But let me tell you, you cannot tell this, but the material is actually quite good. Lots of cool little detail with the little stitching that's there. Um, you know. They did a good job. And what I like about this too, such a versatile little piece that you'll probably be able to use these um, for your uh, Rainbow High dolls as well. Cause I'm gonna try it on my Rainbow High doll and see how it fits. Um, she came with these glasses, cute. Also, she came with these little like pearl hair accessories. She came with seven of them that you can just put in her hair. Again, something that you can use to style your other dolls. Um, I just kind of tucked it in there cause I didn't want to mess up her little braids. So on her face, she's got a little star on it and the star is like right there. Almost looks like a little mole, but it's not. Um, these earrings are cute. Um, they look like the little disco balls, but going all the way around. 
small at the top and they get larger towards the bottom cute she's got a couple of additional barrettes in her hair don't know why i still got stand on her hair is an afro um and uh, pretty much it looks like that's the style that it will be I, I don't think you could probably do a whole lot to it without probably messing it up but um but anyway it's still cute i like it because it's different um not a lot of the dolls have um this kind of hair afro hair or different styles in general i'm just getting so tired of the hair being straight and just curled and blah, 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 blah. so uh, this is cute um her top that she has on this little like um lacy top it's over another little top underneath but this is what i thought was cute i didn't i couldn't tell at first she comes with a corset guys and it's like a little clear one and so it, since it's clear and it's got little speckles and little like you could probably see a little shimmer in it um which is so cool and i'm gonna love using that for some other dolls as well but you can take that off and look it still looks super cute the skirt is cute um has that um it's like a faux leather skirt love it and again i'm gonna be using these for my other dolls i know i am and oh i didn't even know that this was i thought this was like a, just a little top underneath that bodysuit is cute and it's got little silver straps on it as well and you can see it in the back cute and her shoes and her socks she's got these like little lace um socks and look at the detail on her shoes the little bows on the top of it cute she's got some rings on her finger and it actually says good girl on them it's good on one hand and girl on the other hand so it's cute for her i think she's really pretty um you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about her so far but i really like her she's different i haven't unboxed an omg in like ages Oh my gosh, and look, I just love being able, you know, the, the way you can kind of pose them and they look so cute. Oh, let's change her since she doesn't really have one much. Let's put, this is what I was trying to show you guys, the wider one and then this one is thinner. So I'm gonna put this one on. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Such a cutie pie. Look at this purse, this purse is so cute. Love it, and look, it's not like, you know, the details and stuff that they do oh and look this looks like a little star maybe right there and it's glitter like you can see it shining you know it's got a nice little bling and it's got the little balls on the end too and those are like glittery as well i think this is going to be cute for my other dolls i love purses so this is going to be a nice little purse to add to my doll collection okay so miss celebrate is all dressed guys and she looks so cute look at her i mean i am very impressed I love her. Now, I will say that all of this getup is probably quite a bit much. Um, I know I style my dolls like that. Sometimes I put like way too much stuff on them. Um, but it's, it's part of the fun. And um, I think the good thing that I like about it is she's co she comes with so many pieces that you can use for other stuff, for other styling. So um, you don't have to put it all on her. But it's always nice to add things to your wardrobe. But you guys let me know what you think about Miss Celebrate. In Instant Ride Play Style, I'm gonna give her some different looks so we can see if we can switch it up a little bit. So let's check it out. Okay, so this is the first look that I created for Miss Celebrate. So she had the little good girl rings on. So I thought I would make her a good girl. So anyway, I thought this was super cute. So some of the things that I used to put this outfit together, this is a La La Lupsy uh, dress. Um, this is one of the smaller ones. And um, your girl in the back, Sunny. So this is a custom Sunny um, that I had. I actually dyed her hair red, but anyway, um, she has on a La La Loopsy dress on too. So I really love those. I, I have quite a few of them now. Um, I actually bought a whole set for Riley for Christmas and she does not play with them. So those of you who don't know, I have a four-year-old daughter and she is not into dolls like I am. Um, so anyway, I took her La La Loopsy doll dresses and I decided to use them. Anyway, and this came from a Minnie Mouse uh, doll. I love the Minnie Mouse um, uh, hair accessories that are meant for her ears because whenever my dolls have like 
afro styles or um, something like that it's really easy for me to use it as an accessory so I love that this actually came from one of my snap star dolls um, the shoes I got in a lot of doll shoes and I think I was kind of fortunate I started buying uh, doll shoes like by the lot um, several years ago when I really started getting into dolls now they're so expensive but I'm glad I was able to uh, get the ones that I did before it really started popping off because now it's just ridiculous um, and they want to sell you like two right shoes or two left shoes or a bunch of whatever's most people want both shoes so anyway enough of that um rant over so that's my first restyle of miss celebrate you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about that look but we're gonna go ahead and give her another look so for this second look for miss celebrate what i wanted to do is i wanted to do something that was a contrast to the previous outfit that was so cutesy 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 i wanted to give her a little pop and so what i did was i put her in orange and black i pulled her hair back i actually used a scrunchie one that i had on my head just to pull her hair all the way up you get to really see her face and how pretty it is i see the little stars in her eyes i didn't even notice that before but anyway um that is so adorbs and then what i did was i actually used some monster high stuff this little um top that she has on is actually upside down i do that sometimes upside down inside out backwards whatever's going to work for the look that i'm trying to achieve and i put that um, this is a Barbie skirt and I actually put the skirt underneath the top um, so that we could give it the appearance that it was almost like a dress or something like that. So I thought that was kind of cool and she's wearing some leggings that I got from Etsy. So you guys let me know what you think about this look for Miss Celebrate. Okay, so this is the third look for Miss Celebrate. She's wearing all black guys. And what I did is I just put on your basic like OMG earrings. Thought that was cute. Um, this is actually an anklet and I, a, a human anklet. <laughs> and I use it for all kinds of stuff. I drape it, I use it as a belt. I make it look like a chain. I just do all kinds of stuff. And I think I got it like at the beauty supply store. It was, you know, just a couple of dollars or whatever. So not very expensive, great for doll jewelry. To create your own belt i one time i actually went online and bought a belt and then i thought thought i must be crazy um because i think i paid quite a pretty penny for it it might have been seven eight dollars something like that and i probably could have made my own belt for that uh cost so the dress that she has on is a hanka couture dress um all girls a little dress top over it like a corset um love it I just folded it down and then I velcroed it in the back like it's supposed to be, but just to give it a different look, um, more of a cinch waist uh, for this particular dress. I love this dress. Anyway, um, I think she looks good in black. Um, it is a different look for her. Um, you guys let me know what you think about this look that I created for Miss Celebrate. Okay guys, that's all we had today on Instant Ride Play. We did an unboxing of Miss Celebrate. You guys let me know what you think about her. Also, let me know what you think about her original look, um, as well as the, the three looks that I created for her. Let me know if you like look number one, look number two, or look number three. But before we go, I wanted to ask you guys, let me know in the comments below. I have probably, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 uh, different OMG dolls that I haven't unboxed yet. You guys let me know what dolls you would like to see go head to head in an OMG Battle of the BBs. I would love to do that um, with one doll going against another doll. I haven't done that in quite some time. You guys have been asking me if I'm going to do that again. And yes, I am. Also, another option too is I wanted to start Rainbow Wars, guys. I wanted to do Rainbow Wars. And that's going to be the Rainbow High dolls going head to head. Um, if there's two Rainbow High dolls that you would like to see go head to head and see me restyle them as well, let me know in the comments below. So guys, that's all we had today on instant ride play we did an unboxing of your girl miss celebrate and i thought she was so cute um but i wanted to give her a different look restyle her a little bit plus that's an excuse to play with my doll clothes love doing that but that's all we had today on instant ride play but before we go i just wanted to say even if you have a hard day we hope you find some time to play and we'll see you next time on instant ride play that's what it's all about we are